Oh, oh, oh my goodness, it's that time again. GP, where are you? He's up here, Abby. Oh, oh my, oh, I'm under control, I'm under control. Hi there. I'm glad you're here, because I want to tell you about a very peculiar thing that happened one morning here along the riverbank. It had to do with the weather. Now, you know about weather. It's either hot or it's cold. It's either sunny or cloudy or raining or maybe even snowing. But this was a very strange kind of weather, and it sure fooled Hammy Hamster and his friend Martha Mouse. Now. You know those two get into some of the craziest adventures you could ever imagine. But I bet you've never seen anything like this one, where our two little friends got lost in the mist on the river. And G.P. the guinea pig and his friend the turtle flew through the air to rescue them. Can you believe it? Well, this is the story of the basket that fell through the clouds. And it started very early one morning when the river was covered in mist. You know what mist is? Well, mist is just a big wet cloud that comes down from the sky and sits right on the river. Just look at that stuff. White, fluffy, beautiful, but a little scary because you can't see very far if you're inside it. And if it's all around you, you could get lost. And mist was what happened this morning to Hammy Hamster and Martha Mouse's river. Only, <laughs> that hamster and that mouse didn't know about mist, so they thought all that white stuff was smoke, and they thought the river was on fire. You know, Martha, if, if I could just find my firefighter's hat, I wouldn't be so worried about this smoky fire. Well, the hat's not here, Hanny. Well, maybe, maybe this is it. No, that's my ball of knitting wool. I'm knitting myself a sweater. Well, I wish you could knit me a firefighter's hat or, or, or maybe a fire engine. But let's go out in the boat anyway and see where the fire is. Oh, yes, Hammy. That will be an adventure. Sure. Maybe we can put the fire out. I'm going to bring my balloon with me. Well, that's a good idea. Why not leave it tied to the boat so we don't lose it? And so, a great adventure began. As Hammy and Martha set off into the misty river, not far away, Turtle was having a close look at a very strange object. What could it be? What on earth is this thing, anyway? I can't figure it out, so I think I'll have a snooze. Oh, my! What is that awful noise? The awful noise was the guinea pig bouncing along in his car. Everybody called guinea pig GP, by the way, because these were the first letters of his name. G for guinea, P for pig. Why do I drive so fast? I, I scare myself. Oh, yee, ah, ooh, oh, ah. I can't look. Oh, I'm driving too fast. I'm scaring myself. I'm terrified. Oh, I can't look. Uh, where have you been, GP? Uh, what's this thing, GP? What's it for, GP? Turtle always had lots of questions and very few answers. 
But GP the guinea pig, who was always boasting and telling everyone how clever he was and who loved to show off, was glad to answer all of Turtle's questions. Well, Mr. Turtle, to answer your many questions in my own clever way, where I've been is delivering the mail in my beautiful car, which I drive so well. And this, well, this thing, as you call it, is my latest brilliant invention. It is my hot air balloon. And when I want it to happen, and only I can do it, then, then I can climb into that basket, and the balloon pulls me into the air. Oh, my, it's all very wonderful. Oh, very wonderful. Turtle, where are you? I'm over here, GP. Turtle, would you care to step into my balloon and see how beautifully I made it? Uh, maybe some other time, GP. It's time for my nap. Meanwhile, out on the river. Oh, there's no fire out here, Martha. Just all this cold, wet smoke. I wonder if this is what they call mist. Anyway, maybe we should go back now, okay? Only, which way is back? Gosh, it, 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 it's hard to know where we are when we can't see anything, isn't it? Oh, Martha, I, I'm getting worried. My knitting wool is all damp, and even my balloon looks unhappy. Uh-huh. Maybe we should sing a song to make us feel better about being lost. Uh, okay, uh, what do we sing? I know. Let's make up a song just about us. Okay, uh, you first. Okay. Uh... Here we are out on the water. Martha and Hammy. Cold and clammy. Maybe we could go for a swim. It's too cold for that. Wish that I had brought my sweater. Wish I had my hat. But here we are. Out and all this time when Hammy and Martha were floating about, lost in the mist on the river and wondering how they were ever going to find their way home. Just what do you think their friends were doing? You, you remember their friends, Turtle and GP the guinea pig? Well, <laughs> they were planning a party. Isn't this a wonderful idea of mine, Turtle? A balloon party. We'll invite everybody to come and hear me talk about, uh, about me and my amazing flying balloon, too, of course. Won't it be wonderful? Well, I think that if... Uh, we... Who will we invite? Hammy? Yes, let's invite Hammy. And uh, we could invite... Oh, and Martha Mouse, too, of course. A wise old frog and owl. Uh, I don't know about owl. He... You're absolutely right. No owl. He's always teasing me and just gets me all mixed up. So he can't come. Uh, he gets me all mixed up, too. But then everybody gets me mixed up. Okay, then. Let's go find Hammy and Martha and invite them for a balloon party. And we'll all go flying off together. And off they went, through the bushes, past the tree where Pokey the woodpecker lived. Quiet, bird. We're looking for Hammy and Martha. Hammy! Martha! Pokey! Shh! Don't call him. We don't want him. He'll poke holes in our balloon with his beak, and the balloon will lose all of its air and fall out of the sky. Happy Martha. Martha. They looked everywhere, asked everybody they could find, even asked wise old Frog, who was sometimes very shy. Oh, Frog, Frog, are you in there? Rup, rup. No, I'm not. All right, yes, I am. Go away. Have you seen Hammy and Martha? I've seen them hundreds of times. Silly question. I mean, have you seen them today? Who? Hammy and Martha. Who? Hammy and Martha. Who? Hammy and Martha. Why are you shouting, GP? Well, I have to shout. You keep asking me who. That's not me asking. It's Owl, you silly guinea pig. 
Well, that owl gets me all mixed up. Who? The owl does! Owl! Owl! You stop that! Stop that! If you still want Hammy and Martha, I saw them on their little boat, going off into the mist. Into the mist? Well, now that could be dangerous. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe they're lost in the mist. Oh, no! No, we've got to save them quick! We'll run to our balloon, fly high in the sky, fly out over the river, and call their names. They will call back, and then I, brave balloon flyer, will rescue them. And I, brave turtle, will... Uh, do I have to run, GP? I, I don't like running. Let's go! Hurry! I think we should stop singing now, Hammy. Oh, okay. I, I wonder what we should do instead. Start shouting! Oh, good idea. Help! Help! We're lost! Save the mouse! We're lost! Save the hamster! Bring sandwiches! Hammy, always thinking about eating. Help! We're lost in the mist! Hurry up, turtle. This is an emergency. Honest, GP, this is as fast as turtles go. This way! This way! We've got to hurry! You go ahead. I'll catch up. Get a move on! Here I go. Rush, zip, faster than a speeding snail. That's me. And away they went, brave riverbankers, off to rescue their friends. But that's what friends are for, isn't it? Friends have to look after each other. So, Turtle plodded stolidly on, trying to catch up to GP to join the rescue mission. So, while Turtle is racing, as only a turtle can, to reach GP's balloon, I think we'd better go back and see just how Hammy and Martha are making out in their little boat on the river. Lost in all that mist. I wonder if we can find them. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> there they are. Hammy Hamster and Martha Mouse were sitting all alone in the little boat with the mist swirling all around them. Well, almost all alone. Help! Help! Oh! Oh, how can anybody hear us when these ducks make such a racket? Shoo, shoo, go away, ducks, go away. Ducks, shoo, shoo, ducks. Hammy, I really wish you'd stop being rude to the ducks. They're the only friends we've got out here. Oh, all right. I wonder what those ducks are trying to tell us. I wish I could speak, duck, then I'd know. Hammy, what are you doing? Well, I'm looking for something to eat in this boat. Don't eat my knitting. No, oh, don't worry. Nobody's eating your knitting. I'm sorry, Hammy. Guess I'm just getting cranky. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Meanwhile, GP was back at his balloon and all set to go. But where was Turtle? Turtle! Oh, Turtle, where are you? Oh, oh, he's so slow. Why is he so slow? I, I, I'm not sure I should wait for him. Uh, gotta hurry. Uh, not far to go now. Rush. Let's see. A back foot. A front foot. Other front foot. A foot foot. Oh, oh, I'm getting all mixed up. But uh, I'll be there any minute now. Oh, that does it. That does it. I can't wait any longer. Hey, there it is. I I'm almost there. Oh, it'll be lonely all by myself, but uh, I have to go and be a hero again, a brave rescuer. But GP didn't know that Turtle had made it. Turtle was too puffed to say anything. Oh, say something, Turtle. Let GP know you're there. GP, he's there. Look down, GP. But GP didn't look down, and... Well, Turtle or no Turtle, here I go. Up! Up and away into the sky to find and rescue Hammy and Martha! He's gone and without poor Turtle. But look, that rope hanging down from GP's basket. Hey, I wonder if I could... 
turtle has grabbed the rope with that powerful jaw of his. And see, GP has looked down, seen Turtle, and is pulling him up. Hang on, Turtle. I'm going to pull you up into the basket. GP is pulling him up all right. There he goes, right into the basket. Well, we did it, Turtle. A Turtle, where are you? Right down here in this basket, and that's where I'm going to stay. Well, perhaps that's wise, Turtle. You've caused enough trouble already. Which wasn't a very nice thing to say at all. But at last, GP and Turtle were on their way to rescue Hammy and Martha. In a little while, they were over the very same part of the river that Hammy and Martha were in. Well, here we are. Uh, where? Over the river, but I, I can't see Hammy or Martha. There's too much mist. Uh, well, why don't we call them? Then they'll answer and we'll know where they are. All right, all right, I'm the hero, so I'll start. Hammy, Hammy Martha, Martha, Hammy, Hammy Martha, Martha, Martha. Oh, oh listen, Martha, Hammy, that's, that's GP calling. And Turtle? I'll bet GP came to get us in his new balloon. But he can't see us down here, so... Oh, so maybe they can't help us. Oh, no. Wait a minute, I've got an idea. And what a good idea it was. Remember Martha's balloon tied to the boat with that piece of string? Yep, that's the one. And you remember Martha's ball of knitting wool? <laughs> well, Hammy tied a lot of that knitting wool to the string on the balloon, and slowly he and Martha let that balloon go higher and higher until it came up above the mist where GP could see it. Hammy, Martha, I, I see the balloon and I know where you are. And now I, brave and good guinea pig that I am, will let some air out of my balloon and come slowly down to rescue you. Uh, uh GP, uh, uh, do you see what uh, I see? Oh, don't bother the hero now, turtle. But, but I, I, I want to tell you something. I said, don't bother the hero in the middle of saving somebody. But the uh, GP, uh, I, I think... What Turtle was trying to say was that Pokey the Woodpecker had landed right on GP's balloon and was just starting to. GP, I think we're in trouble. All right, we're coming down at... Uh, what, what's that noise, Turtle? Uh, GP, I, I tried to tell you... Oh no, not Pokey! Help! Well, what a mess it was. Everybody talking at the same time. Hammy in one end of the boat, Martha in the other. GP floating in his basket shouting about being a hero and Turtle, who'd gotten tired of sitting in the bottom of the basket, had managed to find an old wooden box floating nearby. And the ducks were putting their two cents worth in, too. What a sad bunch they were. Hammy Hamster, tired and hungry. Martha Mouse, hungry and tired. GP, who'd crashed his balloon and didn't feel like a hero anymore. And Turtle, who couldn't think of a thing to say until he thought of this. Uh, we just thought we'd drop in to see how you were doing. And everybody glared at him. Now we're all lost. Well, well, it wasn't my fault. After all, I, I never make a mistake. Well, that started them all off again. And the argument went on and on until GP said, 
It, it, it was the ducks' fault. And though nobody knew why they should blame the ducks, they all said, well, maybe GP was right. Of course, he wasn't, was he, ducks? I, 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 I wish those ducks would keep quiet. And then Turtle spoke up. Uh, he'd gone into a shell again. Turtles get shy sometimes, too, you know, just like the rest of us. Anyway, what he said was... Uh, I think those ducks are trying to tell us something. I think they're telling us that if we follow them, they'll show us the way home. <laughs> and everybody <laughs> laughed and laughed and then stopped laughing and did what the turtle suggested. Well, I guess they didn't have anything better to do, did they? So, they followed the ducks. And the parade went like this. First the ducks. Then, Hammy and Martha in the little boat. And then GP in what was left of his famous hot air balloon. Followed by Turtle who thought he might as well ride on the old wooden box, although, as everybody knows, turtles swim even better than ducks. So the ducks took them home, every one of them. That night, they all sat together and laughed and sang the song that Hammy and Martha had made up. For swim, it's too cold for that. Wish that I had brought my sweater. And then they agreed that the real heroes were Turtle and the Ducks. All except GP, of course. He couldn't agree on anything. And the next day, GP started to rebuild his famous flying balloon. And Hammy decided it was time to... <laughs> but wait, that's another story. Mm -hmm.